to corridors of justice now. An anti-corruption court will on Friday rule whether the Waraka land scandal case filed by digital strategist Dennis Itumbi against Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi will proceed. Itumbi on Tuesday appeared before Chief Magistrate Douglas Ugoti and said he had all that is required to institute private proceedings against the Cabinet Secretary, claiming that the state prosecutorial agencies had dragged their feet. Now I've said the above is the quorum and representation today and, expe and uh, expectations by the DPP. I have heard them, but this being an expert application, the, the first step is to, he to hear the application expert on whether this application meets the legal threshold to enable the court to direct that there should be service of the application and summons on the first, second respondents and the third interested party. The court had earlier declined to hear submissions by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution as Itumbi's application was filed as ex parte. Itumbi claims that he had taken the decision to prosecute Matiangi after the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission and the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution dragged their feet in proceeding with the prosecution despite a high court decision that confirmed the land was public and was illegally acquired. The strategist wants Matiangi charged with four corruption counts, including abuse of office, willfully failure to comply with the law relating to the management of public funds, committing an offense of financial misconduct and conspiracy to defraud. In June last year, the High Court ruled that the Ruaraka land where two school seat is public and that the National Land Commission misled the Ministry of Education in compensating businessman Francis Mburu 1.5 billion shillings which led to the loss of public funds. Matiangi was the then education CS at the time when the money was paid.